In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your iPad as a display for your console. So in this case, it's going to be Nintendo Switch, but you could use an Xbox or a PlayStation or whatever you like. To do this, you're going to need one of these cheap HDMI capture dongles. Uh, so this particular one outputs to uh, USB 3 uh, and I need a USB on the go adapter to convert it to USB type C. Um, some of the others that I've seen come with um, USB-C output now. Uh, they're about £10, so really cheap. So we'll put the capture dongle into the USB-C on the go adapter, and then we've got our USB cable going into the console over here, and then we'll plug it into the iPad. And then we've got a couple of apps. Now, this has only just come out. Um, this is in September 23, uh, and iOS 17 has just come out with the support for this. Um, so I've got a couple of beta apps at the moment. Now Video Assist seems very fully featured, whereas Dongled is uh, very simplistic, uh, but that's not a bad thing sometimes. So we'll try Dongled, and you can see a test pattern come up straight away. Um, let's turn the switch on. So I've got the switch controls here, and we've got the switch running now on the screen. So we can run Zelda on the switch. see the audio coming through and if we look at the delay there it's not too noticeable I the latency is pretty good I'd be quite happy playing that on this screen um, it is uh, pretty decent so like I say you can connect anything from an Xbox, PlayStation, a Switch, or absolutely anything that uses HDMI output, which makes it really handy for just taking any way you need it. So if we try the other app, Video Assist, we can see that the interface to this one is very different. So it's got record options. Uh, we Up here, you can set the, uh, the resolution that it's coming in at and the frame rate. Um, so that's quite neat. You can also select where the audio is coming from. Um, tap on there and then we can make it full screen. And again, the latency is really good on this too. Uh, very comparable with the other app. It just seems to be streaming it through without really changing it very much. Um, so this app seems really good. No idea how much they're gonna charge for this. Um, because there's some kind of uh, interface here for uh, allowing you to uh, cut the video and, and do stuff with it. So it's, it's much more fully featured uh, than the other one. It has that nice little bar showing you the, uh, the audio levels as well. So hopefully this gives you some ideas of what you could use this for. Um, let me know in the comments if you've got any questions. As we see more of the apps update into the App Store uh, that support this new feature, uh, I'll pop them in the uh, video description and maybe pin a comment with the ones I recommend. Uh, at the moment, like I say, the ones I've tried are beta edition, so I've no idea how much they, they're going to charge for them uh, or what the final names will be. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.